Hello and welcome to MCB Makes. On this episode, we're going to be making cordage. And all you'll need for this activity is some raffia, which you can get at most craft stores. You'll need about two pieces that are about the same width. Doesn't really matter what length they are. You're gonna take both ends and we're just gonna create a simple loop. So if you take it, wrap it around two fingers and push it through just like this. Pull the loop and then take this bit, the shorter bit, and just pull just like that. This loop is what you're going to have your finger in or if it's easier for you, you can take that loop and you can tape it to the table and do your cordage that way. So what you're going to do is put your finger through here. You have two different pieces of raffia. You have your top piece and your bottom piece. What we're going to do is we're going to take our top piece and we're going to twist it away from us. So we want to make it nice and tight. So we're just going to keep twisting it. You can use your middle finger and your thumb to hold it if it helps you. But we're going to make a nice twist. It's all right if your end gets a little wrapped up because we're going to twist all the way down by the end of it. So twist, twist, twist. Once you have a good twist, since we twisted it away from us to make this twist, we're now going to take this piece and we're going to pull it towards us and then hold it. Now this is the top piece. So again, we're going to twist it away from us. And now that it has a good twist, we're going to pull it towards us. And then this is again our top piece. Twist away. Pull towards. And we're going to do that quite a few times. You can make the cordage as long or as short as you would like to make it. Once you have it the length that you want, you can tie a knot at the bottom and trim off any excess that you don't want. The thing is, we now have something that looks similar to a little braid. And when you let go, it doesn't become unraveled. It stays together nice and tight. But why? Why does it stay together like this? What we're going to do now is we're going to look at some regular yarn. And that's actually going to explain to us why this is holding together so well. So if you look at our little piece of yarn here, you can see that it has a similar twist to what we just made with our own cordage. So here's the twist in our cordage, and here's the twist in the yarn. So what's going on here? If we undo this yarn and pull it apart, you can see that it's twisted. And then, if you look closer at the fibers, they're twisted the other way. And you can see this with the string. So what happens is, when you make something like yarn or something like our cordage that we have here, we were twisting one strand away from us and then pulling it over top. What's happening is when you twist something, it generally wants to come undone. So by twisting away from us and then towards us, the two twists are putting pressure on each other because they both want to come undone, but they're going opposite directions. That causes it to hold and form our braid. So if we were to undo it, it would start coming unraveled. This lesson plan comes from Project Archaeology. They do archaeological based curriculum and I'm going to link their website down in the description below.